Bogus bottles are turning up at auctions, fancy restaurants, and liquor stores across the nation. Fine wine, just like fine antiques or great art, is sometimes fake. I was offered 400 euros for an empty bottle of yes. Chateau Lafitte. He wanted to sell me all these wines that were 1940s and 1950s uh, Pomerols, Le Fleur and Petrus. And I thought that was crazy, and the label seemed photocopied to me. What I hope we're doing at the moment is making wine collectors aware that there are a lot of fake bottles out there. We're seeing many different types of frauds pop up. One counterfeiter alone, Rudy Kurniawan, who's in jail, put, by our estimation, at least $130 million worth of counterfeit wine in the market. It's become abundantly apparent this is a pretty widespread problem. Wine is counterfeited at all levels, and winefraud.com is going to help stamp out this fraud, this counterfeiting, and create a better marketplace for all of us wine lovers. We've been asked by people in all sectors of the wine trade for help combating counterfeits and combating wine fraud. We decided to make winefraud.com to help educate people and provide a place where due diligence can occur. To understand where some of the problems are happening globally. To be up on the latest anti-counterfeiting measures. To teach collectors what to look for to avoid bad purchases. To teach vendors what to look for to avoid selling bad wines into the marketplace. To help all the different producers, retailers, auction houses, warehousing, shipping, and even authorities. Collectively, there's a lot of experts out there. We've very carefully put together the best team in the world to help educate consumers and producers about all aspects of wine fraud and wine counterfeiting.